uh, dear parents in fact uh, when we look at today it is so unprecedented an experience for all of us this prolonged lockdown now almost we are reaching one month and um, uh, due to coronavirus the entire world is suffering we have to face these difficulties uh, even not to having classes for our children no no school is having classes if we don't know how long it will prolong because uh, unless and until there is a vaccine found this can continue for a long time so we need to look at alternatives etc so many of our schools have started already online classes but remember online classes are possible only for the people who have the accessibility to uh, access to computer internet etc anyway we have to find new ways and new methods to educate our children and that's what we are all doing now i i am here uh, because to tell you that this is an opportunity for all of you to uh, give your child your best because after all family is the best school i believe it so and because in the family whatever happens that is the happening of your formation of your children so therefore today i will be just briefly explaining to you about the eight stages of uh, uh, every human being by the famous uh, educational psychologist called eric erikson eric erikson says all of us every individual has to go through eight stages of life so the first stage he calls is an oral stage that is 0 to 1 and 1/2 years age or 0 to 1 year of age now what happens in this period to a child 0 to 1 year zero means uh, the one who, who, the child who is in the womb and whatever experience the mother undergoes or the family feels exactly that the child also absorbs so the, the child under, in the womb is very very important period for the child's formation and after that also one year he calls it oral stage because anything you give to the child in this period the child will take to the mouth all of us know this and that is why he calls uh, easily the term is called oral stage or infancy stage and in this period the child expects a lot of love concern care from you take the child hold them so close to you let the child feels the warmth of your love in the family must make that that experience to the child then the child will grow in trust otherwise the child will grow in mistrust is will not trust anyone when it becomes mature so that is why this period is very very important in the life of a child then uh, he says a second period he calls it's uh, age 1 to 3 this period he calls it uh, what he call the toilet training period this period uh, early childhood period Uh, the child will stand walking and so on it does not have uh, uh, control over its own uh, uh, bodily functioning for example it number 1 and number 2 etc it doesn't have the control so it it feels and it does now suppose you make the child uh, feels bad about it then the child will grow in shame and doubt so uh, that is why the family experiences are very very important for a child so if it grows uh, shame and doubt if he is not properly given the help otherwise the child will grow in autonomy autonomy means it will stand on its leg it knows what is right what is wrong when to do when not to do etc that feeling will come to the child that is a very very important for us to uh, to give and create that kind of an atmosphere and the third stage he says it's a play age he calls it 3 um, to 6 years and i know in india or in the world over this period may not be a play age now because children at home uh, they go for tuition the school they are placed in the schools or anganwadis and so all kinds of things are happening too much of pressure is put on the children today because of the societal pressure etc but then if you don't allow the child to play age to to ask questions to play and suppose uh, they uh, papa what is this mummy what is this etc if you don't give answer for the free frequent 
queries of the children the children will grow in guilt feeling suppose you make the child shut up don't ask questions keep quiet suppose you say like this that the child will grow in guilt feeling when they grow when the child grows the child will not be able to ask questions even in the classrooms or with others and so on there is no critical mind developed in the child that is why it is very important don't give them guilt feeling give them positive atmosphere uh, they are not worried about your uh, uh, the correctness of your answer etc but they will go on asking you questions you give them the answers then the child will grow in initiative such children will be the leading uh, children in the classrooms and outside they will grow with the leadership qualities they will take initiative in whatever they do and there is the fourth stage he calls it he calls it school age maybe he in in his categorization he says 5 to 12 years of age that is called school age early school age and this period the children will be playing they will be meeting their own friends circle and lot of uh, take and uh, give will go on suppose you don't allow that period to be little more freely for the children then the children will grow in inferiority they will say that no 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 hum kisi se kam hai aisa feeling mat dena we don't give such feelings to the children let them grow in industry hard working they may have to experience they have to experience in fact difficulties risk taking etc let them grow in that freedom that is why the parents must be very very careful in this period and the next is called adolescent period he calls it 9 to 18 years of age this period the children you know the psychology of adult adulthood or adolescence period that they are actually the time for uh, of adolescence is a time of tension crisis and uh, it's a lot of stress will be there in the children because of the physical changes that are happening also intellectual growth that are taking place and the spiritual uh, growth taking place etc the children will grow in a uh, lot of confusion and if you don't allow the children to grow if you control them too much then they may rebel against you teenage period is a time of uh, confusion i told you role confusion especially that time children may react to you if you put too much of control that may lead them to uh, anti social elements also later on when they grow because there is a psychology they say the anger is transferred towards the lower level uh, suppose uh, the child is frightened of you or frightened of parents then they may take that anger accumulated anger towards somebody else who is weaker than them in the school that is why uh, in this role confusion must be understood you must treat them friendly and so on and uh, if you treat them well then they will grow in identity i am also a grown up person i am also growing up i have to learn i also have an identity uh, an individuality positively hmm? they will grow in that level so adolescence period if anybody you who have children at home like this uh, a girl or a boy please treat them friendly with guidance listen to them and uh, respect their individuality otherwise they will rebel against you mind you the next period i am not going to explain the next three periods uh, the stages of life that is the early parenthood period he says it is around the age of um, uh, 18 to 40 perhaps this period um, this period a lot of um, you know intimacy people come out of their own groups to outside and external relationship etc people want to get into clubs and activities groups of friendliness friendship etc and this period if you don't allow this to grow then they will grow in isolation which is very very negative a uh, social uh, what do we call a distancing what do we call today complete distancing will be there they will not be able to come out with their own ideas and initiatives and discussions and uh, contribution etc so isolation may happen or they will grow in intimacy as yes, i can relate with you i am friendly with you that and uh, and i contribute my best because i have a confidence in built in me that is why that period is very very important and then the next is uh, many of you may be in that period that is around 35 to 65 years of age this is called um, he calls it uh, a real adulthood middle age period this period is the time of contribution you know, because you are already uh, in mature you have a lot of life experience etc so your experience matters in your decision making etc suppose 
you are not allowed to make a decision at all in this period then you will go in complete stagnation there is no enthusiasm in life there is nothing to contribute you will grow in stagnation otherwise you will be a creative person and finally the old age period that is above 60 and above those people he calls them is um, uh, mature age at that time suppose you are the seven periods which i said seven stages which i said if you have a positive experience of the seven stages then you will grow in integrity persons of integrity people who are accepting themselves people who, who are happy peaceful calm serene such people are called the persons of integrity suppose you have got all the areas and negativities or majority of the stages only negative have been the experience then that person will grow in despair that you know basically psychology will say basically dissatisfied with yourself you will make others also dissatisfied choice is yours you want to make your want to make your children grow in maturity to integrity then utilize this this uh, lockdown period at home treat them and give them you have best you may not be able to give the best of the world but give your best and make your family a happy family make your children a mature child who is going to contribute to the nation and to the world thank you very much